Media Stampers, and thanks for joining me today. Aren't these the cutest little peeps coming out of eggs? Love them. Easter and spring are coming, and this is just such a super stinking cute card. We made our little peeps with the bird punch and an oval punch. Really simple and easy and so stinking cute. Tops on the stinking cute mater Let's get started. Our little bird peeps, not bow peep, bird peeps, are made with the bird punch and some Daffodil Delight cardstock. I just cut this into small strips because I just want the bird. And we don't even need his tail, so just the actual bird body. We need three birds. I'm gonna take all three and stack them up. It looks like there's only one, but there's three, and just cut off their tails. Oh, it's okay. Because now they're little chicks. Got to think outside the box. For our eggs, I'm using the Stampin' Up! Designer Series Paper Stack in the um, 2011 and 2012 in colors. But in all honesty, the subtles, the brights, they all would make fun colors too, but I just really enjoyed these in colors. And I thought they made really cute eggs. You need to punch out three. I'm kind of random on the colors here. You can use any color combination you like. I did mix up the patterns a little bit because I thought that was fun. And again, I'm gonna stack these and then to make our cracked eggs, we're just going to cut maybe two-thirds of the way up the egg. Just a little, and this is a little random pattern. I'm not trying to be too even here because I want it to look like a real cracked egg. And then we have three cracked eggs. Next I'm going to use some snail adhesive, just a tiny little bit on that bird body. And we're going to stick that bird so he's underneath our cracked egg. Do the same for all three and I alternated which way the bird was facing to make it a little fun. Then using the fine tip end of the chocolate chip marker, just drew some eyeballs. Now I suppose it would have been better to do this step when the birds and the eggs before we cut them and put them together but it, it still works. I'm actually taking some crumb cake ink and a wedge of a Stampin' sponge and just sponging around the edge of the bird and the egg just to give it a little pop. It's a light color. I'm going to place a strip of Certainly Celery cardstock in the polka dot impressions folder. Sandwich that folder between two cutting pads and place it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform that comes with the Big Shot and run it through the Big Shot. And that gives us a little bit of texture, just a little mwah. I'm going to take the scallop border punch and on these border punches I'm actually leaving it face up instead of flipping it over. Press down. Use this front as your guide. Line up those scallops with that guide right there. Pull it out maybe two or three and go all the way across. And when you're done you have this beautiful little scallop edge which is going to be grass for us. Go ahead and attach that to a whisper white panel using some snail adhesive. Mine's a little bit longer so I'm going to trim off the excess. Taking some Thin daffodil taffeta ribbon to match the color of the, our chickies. And I'm going to use some snail to the top of the front panel and then the snail just tucks those underneath and they stay. And then a smaller little strip of that same ribbon just slides right underneath and tie it once and it's a perfect faux knot. You can trim the edges if you desire. Using some snail adhesive, we'll stick that on our wisteria card base. I put Stampin' Dimensional popped out on the back of the egg and chicky and the egg shells to really make those pop up. And I found the easiest way to line it up is to start with your center piece. And then it's easier to line up your two sides. And a couple of lids. And they are so stinking cute and your card is complete. I hope you've enjoyed this really, really cute, super fun Easter spring card. Thanks for joining me today.